Hello friends, welcome to the tech guy stuff. So today we will see how to block the SMB ports in order to prevent from the ransomware attack. So as of now you know that the ransomware is uh, the one of the most disaster for this year which are infected the almost uh, 150 above countries uh, got infected with the WannaCry ransomware. So usually these infections as they happen with uh, mail clicks are uh, the, the ports okay so today we will see how to block the SMB ports in order to avoid the spread of ransomware or in order to get infected with the ransomware so for that you require to do first of all you have to note down the port numbers these are the four ports so we require to today block will block so the port numbers The most vulnerable port is the 139 and the 445. These two are the SMB ports. So let me increase the font size such that it will be easier for you guys. So along with these two ports, uh, there are the few other ports uh, which are uh, highly recommended if you're not using those ports. Uh, which are highly recommended to block so i will show you that ports also one is the 9004 and 9005 along with this so the port number 135 and the port number 22 yeah as of now the infected systems are got the infection from the usually with the, these two ports and however this is also recommended to block the rest of the 22 135 9004 and 9005 ports so if you are not subscribed my channel please do the subscription in order to don't miss my any other videos okay so please subscribe here on the bottom you can see the subscribe button just click on that one so that you can get the regular updates when i upload the new video to you guys Okay, so let us start. So just click on the start menu and type the command wf.msc. It's a shortcut command to open the firewall settings. Or else you can type firewall also, it will open the same window. So yeah, once the firewall is opened, you can see the interface will be like this. And in that, uh, what you have to do now, select the inbound rules. These are all the rules which are allowed and blocked in my case and click on the new rule. Here we are blocking the port right so select the second option port. Click on next and the TCP and UDP here you can also specify the port range or the individual ports so you have to specify the comma. So right now we are blocking the port number 22 comma 135 comma 139 comma 9004 comma 9 how is that 445 comma 9004 9005 so these all are ports we are going to block so we have selected the ports click on next make it as a tcp only and here we have to select the block the connection and click on next it will give you the three rules so that is the public domain private domain and the domain so the firewalls so, so you just make it as the three firewalls uh, should be the check mark click on next and we have to specify the rule name port block for wanna crack okay we have block report so if you want description you can make it and click on finish so this is the inbound rule and also make it the outbound rule why outbound rule is required in the sense if the however if somewhere due to some reasons or due to some local land if you got the ransomware also if it not communicate with the the command centers you should block the these ports and along with the few IPs and URLs that I have given you in the earlier my videos. So just refer my earlier videos. 
and those ports we already those ports and urls were blocked at the fire uh, semantic level so however we are blocking once again here and just take a note of that one and the port numbers we have specified the 22 135 139 445 9004 and the 9005 and just same click on next and click the block connection and click on next and select the three check marks click on next and rule is the port block wanna try outbound rules so make the outbound click on finish so here you can see the what is the rule that we have configured and for the all profiles uh, and the status is enabled action will be the blocking no override and uh, here is the inbound rule you can see just select p is a port block for one acre so we have successfully configured the rules here so from now onwards the no port will be communicated and uh, no one acre will be infected on my pc so thanks for watching guys uh, hope you like my videos uh, please do the subscription like share and comment if you have any concerns or any issues uh, while doing any such port blocking or uh, the installing the ransomware installing the mcafee av or anything if any technical related issues please comment on my videos such that i can address all your queries thanks for watching have a nice day